Isaacs and Sam Spencer, and we're outside the floor of the Democratic National Convention. I'm joined by a very special guest. We're, here we have uh, Scott Maker. Scott is from Portland, and Scott, tell us a little bit about what you do in Portland. Uh, I am the head of government affairs for an insurance company called Unum. I think we're all familiar with the company. Um, and tell us what you're doing here at the Democratic National Convention. Well, I'm here to support my friend Mark Warner, who's giving the keynote speak to, speech tonight. Uh, to, uh, how, did you, how did you get to know Mark Warner? Uh, I used to practice law in Washington, D.C. in the uh, early 80s, and Mark and I became friends then and have remained friends over the years since then. At one point, there was some uh, uh, speculation that Mark Warner was going to be ready for president this year. Why did he decide not to run for president? I think family considerations primarily, but uh, I'm optimistic, as are many of his other fans and friends, that uh, four years or eight years from now, he will uh, have a different decision. Uh, Mark Warner is the keynote speaker tonight. What are you hoping to hear from him in his keynote address? I think Mark is going to give a message of unity and hope. Mark has been very successful as the governor of Virginia, uh, a red state traditionally with a Republican legislature, in bringing together factions all over the state and doing a remarkable job of creating bipartisan compromise. And I think that we're going to hear that story tonight in his speech and ideas on how we can forge that same alliance on the national level. It's hard to believe that just four years ago, Barack Obama, as a state senator from Illinois, was the keynote speaker at the 2004 convention. Yes. So you never know what else could happen. Bill Clinton was the keynote speaker in 1988. Well, I am optimistic, as I said, that in uh, four or eight years, assuming Barack selected and re-elected, that uh, Mark Warner will be on there as the nominee. How are you enjoying the convention overall? The convention is great. I'm particularly enjoying the time I get to spend with my friends and colleagues from Maine who are here representing the great state of Maine. Well, we're glad you're here. And one final question. How do you think the country will be different when Barack Obama is president? Well, I think that we're going to see a lot more positive energy. I think over the last few years, the last several years, we've seen a lot of negative energy out there. And once people realize that there's a different way of doing things, and Barack Obama provides the leadership to pursue that way, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a real new chapter in our history. Scott Maker, thank you very much for joining us on SanFester.org. All right, my pleasure, Sam. Thank you.